guys is made a fab finder and uh, wanted to give a, leave a quick tip or trick on a hike down here at the river today. And uh, ran across a piece of driftwood. You can hear it's very, very dry. So I wanted to go over something with you. If you're ever in a situation to where you can, uh, you're, you're stuck in the woods, or you're in a survival situation, and you need fire. Well, if you're going to do a boat drill fire, if you're near a river like this, the best thing to do is to just go on down to the river. You know, some would say, well, if you get him by the river, you're going to get a risk. Well, sometimes where there's risk, there's reward. So, if you're needing a bow drill fire, this is a perfect, perfect example of what you're going to find. This is a piece of driftwood, a piece of poplar. And I, I, I know it's poplar because I scraped into it and it's got the old green tint on the inside. Looking to make a bow drill fire out of something, it's got to be something that's a little pissy on top, soft to the fingernail where I can make an indention with the fingernail. When you see poplar, when you see white oak like that, that's dry, you know, you can see it's a little bit of trouble to get over there with that. But let's say that I couldn't find any driftwood on the side that I'm on, then it's worth the risk for me to walk around very carefully and get to that spot. If it's pretty day like it is right now, you know, it's not cold out, uh, it's like it's late winter, coming into early spring. So the, the water temperature is probably about 60 degrees. So it's a little chilly right now, but it's definitely going to be worth the risk to me. If I can't find anything anywhere else, right there I've got fire tinder, right there I've got firewood. All I've got to do is possibly get my feet wet. I can take my shoes off, I can take my socks off, and I can roll my pants leg up to get that. But also, to save resources, to save energy, when I come down here, just looking around, this is popular. So, right there is my fire spindle. Right there is my bird's nesting material for my ember. So basically, here again, dry prints everywhere. And also, if you see right here, you come close and look. I thought this was a bird's nest at first, but it's not. It's fishing string. So that's there, first aid for fishing, for tying something off. I have, you know, cordage right here. Look down. There is an unlimited supply of birch bark. So I have tinder, I have something to, uh, that's lightweight, I can carry with me. And this stuff, it's gonna, even though it's dried out, it's still gonna have some oils in it. This binds. This is cordage, if I need cordage for my boat drill. This is cordage. This stuff, I've seen there's palmetto everywhere to get cordage from. I can use that. I can weave all this together and I can make, you know, some really crude rope string with this. But it's strong, you're not gonna break it. And it's very pliable. All I have to do if I want, soak it in the water, get it a little bit moistened up, try to bring most of the water off, it's gonna make the longevity of that string a lot longer because it's, it's damp, that way it doesn't crack as much. Nature has provided the resources and the, the things that it's going to take me to be self-sustainable. This is the Native Pathfinder. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Check us out on our YouTube channel. Check us out on our Facebook or go to our website at www.thenativepathfinder.com.